What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be taking you along another day in my life. Just like a little vlog about what we're doing. Um, so currently it is absolutely raining and stormy and nasty outside. And I'm actually just waiting in the car because Lance is at his lawyer's office dropping off our prenup, which I previously have mentioned in another video uh, that we felt like it was best to just kind of like lay out an agreement while we still like each other in the case that anything goes wrong in the future but obviously I don't think that we will end up needing it but it's just a good way to protect yourself and your finances and your assets because marriage is a big financial decision and it's also a business deal in a lot of ways so you know we just like to be really smart and thoughtful and just be responsible about you know our lives and our finances and everything like that but we don't have like a whole lot of plans today we're gonna go to the gym which we do usually four days a week uh, we also have a dinner reservation this evening at one of our favorite restaurants. Um, it's called Restaurant Iron. It's in Pensacola and uh, allegedly they have a new menu out. So I'm excited to see what they have on that menu and uh, maybe try something new. But that's all for now and follow along. Babe, you just ran four miles. Yeah, be That's like that. That's insane. Four miles. 30 straight minutes of running. 33 straight minutes of running. That's crazy. It's wicked. Usually I can only get to a mile and a half, maybe two miles at the other gym that we go to, but not this one. This is the first time I've ever been here. 4.1 miles, actually, I walked for the rest of that, so. Bitching. I'm out here walking on an incline. That's my miles. <laughs> You're one calorie away. I bet it's like 0.1 <laughs> calorie. Like, I better go do some jumping jacks or something. Jeez. All right, it's time to lift some weights. I was uh, shocked that I was able to run four miles. Cause usually, like I said before, I only run like a mile and a half, maybe two miles, but two miles is rough. And the only time I really run three miles is if we're on a cruise or at different gyms. But I'm beginning to think that it's the treadmills. Cause the treadmills at the gym that we go to, even though they look a little bit more advanced, the ones here I feel like, or at that gym was more shock absorbent. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's been like a common trend like every time that we've gone on a cruise together like he loves going to the gym because he can run really far on the treadmills there uh -huh. and like for really long periods of time whereas like the gym we usually go to it's like rough to get to two miles or whatever and don't even think for a second that i actually like running i hate it i just <laughs> do it to prove a point because when i was in middle school every monday wednesday and friday they'd make you run the mile and i always sucked and you're not gonna believe this, but my average mile time was betwixt 14 and 16 minutes. And so now I can run like a seven and a half minute mile. So take that coach Jones. <laughs> That was my PE coach that always said that he could crawl the mile faster than I could walk Oh it. my God, that's so mean. He didn't give a sh**. And then if we pissed him off, he would make us stay in push-up position forever. And then what we would have to do is when he's like, down, we'd have to go down and then he's like, up. And then we'd have to go, one, sir, and down, up. Two, sir. We have to count like that. That sounds like military. Well, that's Ew. how he ran his PE class. Oh, my God. And I was fortunate to have him all three years of middle school. And I was like, geez. Wow. But like that. That's rough. I used to hate running the mile, too. But I had like a 12-minute mile. But it's really rough for me because I have asthma. And it's worse with exercise. So when I run, I'm like, Ugh. Uh, even if I hit my inhaler, I still can't breathe. So that's why I usually incline walk and then he runs slash walks while we're at the gym. Yeah, but I could never run the mile without stopping. There was one time I had a sprained ankle and so I thought I was going to get out of the mile because I put like this uh, ace bandage around it to make it seem like it was oh, serious. No. I was like, I'm getting out of the mile today. I didn't have to run the mile, so I was like, all right, shibby. But then <laughs> the next week he said, all right, make up mile time. And so I had to make up the mile. I was like, damn. Oh, karma's a bitch. Yeah, it was a little rough day. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did was, is I like cut the mile short because he was inside while everyone played basketball and the people who had to make up the mile had to go outside and went shit. So 
I cut one of the laps short and so, or like two of the laps short and so I ended up getting like an eight minute mile or something and uh, the guy that was supposed to be keeping track of it was another student and he was my friend so I just oh. had him like say, hey, just say it was an eight minute mile and that didn't really work out because then after he turned in the paper to Coach Jones, Coach Jones said, 30 acre, come here. I'm like, shit, he, he, he caught oh, on. No. He's like, see this mile time? I knew you had it in you. I expect this every week. I'm like, but he didn't get it every week. He just got yeah. my 14 to 16 minute miles. Like, you should have just had your friend like lie about the time so yeah. it wasn't suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, Yikes. that's crazy. But anyway, so that's why I run to this day is to prove a point because I could never run without stopping. And now I can run, I can run a mile, I can run two miles, and then sometimes even three or four. Oh, you know, four today. See, I'm not good at running, so I just walk and then I usually alternate my weights with, I start with legs, then the next day arms, then the next day abs, and then reset. And then over the weekend, if I'm feeling froggy, I'll do like a Pilates or yoga routine, and then we'll go on like walks around our neighborhood and stuff. But today I got on the scale and I logged my weight and my little app said that I lost 75 pounds, but it told me that the, that was equivalent to the weight of 310,000 honeybees. <laughs> like, what a specific thing to compare weight to. Like, how do you know how much those bees weigh? <laughs> what if it's like that's the equivalent to like three big hungry? Yeah, big or hungry. Big. She's so big and she's so hungry. I mean, I think that's like one big hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but if you go to the gym and you pick up a seventy-five pound weight, like that's kind of that's crazy. Yeah. I don't think I could do it. I would have to. I mean, I could, but like that's picking up like a, a dog, like a dog bag food, a yeah. bag <laughs> like a bag of dog food. A dog bag food. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, we are going to go uh, home, get showered, get dressed, and let's take it from there. Maybe you'll vlog the shower. Yeah. You want to yeah, join I us? Try to save water, shower together. Let's all, let's all hop in. Jeez. <laughs> all right, y'all. Pit stop at the farmer's market. Got my emerald candy, <laughs> y'all. We got to get Lance his boiled peanuts that he is obsessed with. They have, I don't want to say the best, but they're pretty damn good. They're unique Florabama style boiled peanuts and they're right across from the fairgrounds of Pensacola. So if you're ever in Pensacola, support local business and come down to the farmer's market and get you some boiled peanuts, they're yummy. Get the Cajun ones. They're not spicy, even though they're called Cajun, they're not spicy at all. It just has like the Cajun seasoning on it. So it gives it that, um, like a, like a Creole taste. And my fans down in New Orleans, Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, and Florida, like the Southern like Panhandle Gulf Coast area. You guys know what I'm talking about. Super duper yummy. So yeah, we gotta get that. And then we also get the bacon here yes. that we use every morning. So yeah, so I can show you my little peanut situation. Yeah. Power is off. Sorry, cat. cash only. Well, guess what? Jamal got plenty cash. <laughs> Damn, honey, you got a I secret never, cash stash. There's like a thousand dollars right here. Damn. I forgot to take it and put it somewhere else. Cash. Don't break into the car. It won't be I in there next time. I think there's like twenty. I think I think our boiled peanuts and the bacon's like twenty five dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bacon here is really really good. You can't get it at the grocery store because it's all local products. So you can get like really nice fresh produce and local eggs and milk and everything like that here. So if you want to stray away from the big businesses and if their power is out, then I doubt they have boiled. Oh no. Yikes, dude. Y'all are about to see me have, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go check and that means the refrigerated bacon. Maybe they have a generator. Yikes. I don't know. We're gonna go find out. Yeah, let's go find Maybe out. I'll get to keep my 20 bucks. Try some muffins. Yummy. I gotta do it. Yeah, we're gonna get them. We're gonna try them. Then we're gonna do a little taste test. I got 20 extra bucks. You were in luck, babe. <laughs> I know, but they they were in the back, so she had mm -hmm. to go get them. She told me she was yeah. gonna warm them up, but what I do is, this is a good night. What we do <laughs> is, after a long, hard week of filming and gym and everything else, I like to get my boiled peanuts, usually on a Wednesday, because this place is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I get it on a Wednesday, so therefore after I'm done filming, I have it for Thursday and the weekend. But I get two of the large boiled peanuts and I put them in the fridge and then I sit on the couch, I have a Miller Lite, and then I have my boiled peanuts. Yummy combination. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then we watch a movie or a show if we have a show or something. Mm -hmm. If you guys are wondering what shows we watch, we watch Watch The Good Doctor, we watched Rookie. We used to watch New Amsterdam, but they got rid of that. Or yeah. they, like, it ended, it. yeah. And then what's another one? Sometimes we watch uh, like Gordon Ramsay shows mm -hmm. like um, Hell's Kitchen or 
Master Chef. Master Chef, yeah. I think Master Chef is better in my opinion because at Hell's Kitchen, they're only working for a you're goal. Go and I don't like that they sit there and they all want to just be the chef of Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. I like the Master Chef better because it's like home cooks, like people who like don't have professional training that are actually like really, really good at cooking and it like it makes it seem like an attainable goal. Yeah. Because they taught themselves, so like why couldn't you teach yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll watch movies, like uh, for like one weekend or so, we were on a kick of watching all the old movies that defined who I am mm -hmm. as a person. Um, there's still a couple of them that we yeah. need to watch, but any twats. Uh, I gotta go put gas in my truck. I'm almost at a quarter of a tank and I've only driven it for a couple days because this truck drinks gas and I only get 11.8 miles to the gallon. Yeah, so time to go drain your bank account. <laughs> Last time I filled it up, it was $111. Jeez. Yeah, that's a lot. But I put 93 octane because 93 octane is the best octane, but I use ethanol free so because the truck usually sits for a while mm -hmm. and when you have ethanol it will evaporate in your tank and then it creates a whole thing mm -hmm. there must be something going on because there's some popo there was a popo behind me on the way to the farmer's market and then i just saw popo turn down the road next to the fairgrounds hmm. they all here they're lurking they're lurking mm -hmm. one eternity later jeez louise all right, y'all, so we are all dressed up and ready to go. Don't we look so snazzy? Snazzy. Yes, Lance looks super hot. Um, I always do. <laughs> we are headed to the mall right now to go pick up Lance's suit for the wedding because they finally finished tailoring it. And then from there, we're gonna go have dinner at the restaurant I mentioned earlier, which is called Restaurant Iron, one of our favorite restaurants in town here. So if you ever get a chance to try it, you definitely should. Yeah, Chef Alex is fantastic. Yeah. We're on a first name basis. <laughs> yeah. Although I don't really think he knows what my name is, but that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everyone else there does, so mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we pretty much know like everybody there because we go there so often. Um, but I'm really excited to see what your suit looks like, babe. I think it's gonna be perfect. For $500, it better be perfect. Yeah. yeah. And, then they, and then they decided to charge me $16. To tailor to, it. Yeah, to mm -hmm. hem the legs. Like, geez, yeah. geez, Lewis. I do think that should have been included in the price. Like, that's kind of like nickel -y and dime -y to me. That like, if you go to Men's Warehouse and spend $500 on a suit, they should just tailor it for you for free. But the most incredible thing about the entire suit is, I didn't even realize this when we first picked it out, because when I walked in, I saw it. I'm like, all right, that's the one I want. <laughs> There's Logan! No. Everyone look, everyone Where look. Right there, to the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, yeah. Actually, actually, actually it's <laughs> Julia. Julia driving Logan's car in Terrasante. Interesting. Um, any twats, what was I saying? Oh, when I saw it, it was gray, obviously, so spoiler alert. But the color is called shark gray. How fun. Yeah. How fun for me. It's perfect for you. It is. <laughs> I love it for you. I love it for you, babe. Jim. I really do. Oh, Slay king. Slay all day. Jim here don't care. You also brought your um, shoes too, back in that shoe box back there. So you can try them on with the suit and see how it looks. I also brought a hat too, because once my hair dries, it won't look good anymore. It'll start flipping if it hasn't already. Oh my goodness. You and your hair. <laughs> I hate it. I'm going to shave it all off. Okay, do it. Happen. I dare you. Someone edit me bald and then tag me on Instagram. Where do we go? <laughs> all right, let's go. That looks amazing. Especially with the shoes, those look really nice. Yeah. Pigeon. Are you happy with it? Mm -hmm. Pigeon. <laughs> how do you feel about the shoes? They're good. I like how they fit. Like how they look with the suit. The, yeah. The, like that, the because I was going out. back and forth between the black and the brown. And so this is brown, like dark brown with like black accents. I love it. Sold. All right, guys, it's dinner time. We just pulled up to Iron after picking out Lance's suit, and we are absolutely starving because we haven't had anything except yogurt after the gym, so. They didn't put my suit in a zip-up bag, and you'd yeah. think for a $500 suit, they would at least do the courtesy of that because Express does that. Express puts it in a bag, but they yeah. put it in a like a clear trash yeah. bag, like saran wrap. That's kind of poor. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. All right, let's go eat. Oh, thank you.
All right, y'all, so we're leaving dinner now. I meant to record my meal, but I forgot. I got distracted because my food came out and the chicken was raw. She wanted <laughs> to meet the sisters, Sam and Ella. <laughs> yeah, Sam and Ella. <laughs> Both so, of the twins. Yeah, I got really distracted by that. So I had to send my food back and um, thankfully they gave it to me for free, which they didn't have to do, but that was really nice of them. So we are currently walking down to one of our favorite places downtown. It's called Peter Brooks and they're a chocolatier. It's like Willy Wonka. Yeah. Oh, about the fun factory. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna see if they have some red velvet cake pops for us. Uh, and if not, we'll get a salted caramel chocolate situation. I think Fridays is when they do that. We'll yeah, see. we'll see. Chocolate has been secured. Secure the MF bag. So a, a while back at filming, Anthony brought me a huge, uh, like a white chocolate, great white shark. Mm -hmm. Not really a white, it's like a tiger shark or whatever. Anyway, yeah. it's like this big and it's made entirely of chocolate, but it's, uh, is it solid or hollow in the center? It's hollow. Okay. It was I, say, I thought it was solid. Yeah, anyway, it was solid. They have shark molds and they put the chocolate in there and they put it together and then yummy time. I don't just eat chocolate like that. Yeah. There has to be some sort of fun stuff in the center, whether it's cake or whatever it is. <laughs> or with the chocolate shark, there's no fun stuff in the center. So they had chocolate cake pops, but not the red velvet chocolate. Better than Starbucks. So yeah, screw they Starbucks. are for sure. Although I'm a shareholder of Starbucks. So <laughs> just, uh, anyway. Don't want to brag or anything. Yeah. But anyway, I do get dividends from Starbucks talk. <laughs> so buy Starbucks, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not financial advice. No, buy Starbucks products. Don't buy Starbucks products. Come down to Peter Brooks and support local businesses. This yeah. is the twice time we've, we've supported local businesses here in Pensacola. Yeah. Look at me. It was the twice time we did it today. The twice. <laughs> Actually, the thrice time because iron, iron, the farmer's market, and Peter's. Brooks. Even though you kind of sort of <laughs> all over iron when they gave you raw chicken. They didn't give me it raw It was, chicken. Gordon Ramsay would have thrown it at Chef Alex. Raw. <laughs> He's fucking raw. And yeah. then Threw it across the game. dude. Okay. Anyway, they they took it off the, yeah, the bill. It's, it's fine. fine. We'll continue to go. Uh, yes. Alex, if you're watching, don't worry about it. Sorry. We're all good. It's fine. <laughs> Although free dessert would have been good. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but now we're headed home, so we're gonna wrap up our evening. And just have a nice relaxing night at home. Yeah, I can't do the peanuts tonight. The peanut, that's not, I'm super yeah, full. I had so the steak full. with the with the crawfish cream sauce. Audrey forgot to record. Yummy time. It was so good. <laughs> I'm just waiting right now to be able to leave this parking spot. Yeah. I parallel parked my truck, which is shibby. <laughs> Love you guys a lot. Have a fantastic day, night. Whatever. It's a night for me. Yeah. So have a fantastic night. I'm going to drive home very carefully. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, see, I, I got this, <laughs> the time. Yeah. I saw an opportunity to get out of this spot, so I took it. Mm. Anyways, I gotta turn the lights off. All right, I'll later, go. Bye. All right, y'all. So it's a couple days later, and uh, we never tried the muffins for you. So we I have was them. full after we ate dinner, and yeah. I didn't, we have them on a plate, like a luscious. We got lemon poppy seed, then we got poppy seed blueberry, then we got cinnamon coffee cake, then we got regular blueberry, and then we got banana nut. Banana nut, dude. And the only one I think I'm gonna like is the cinnamon coffee cake, because I'm not like a big fruity muffin fan. But... I'm a muffin connoisseur. Yeah. So let's try them. Which one do you want to try first? Uh, probably. I'm gonna go just regular lemon, lemon poppy. poppy seed. And fun fact, this can actually make you fail a drug test. It can. Mm. It's good, but it's not not worth the carbs. No. Let's see if the lemon poppy seed blueberry elevates a little bit. I will let you try that because I'm not a big blueberry muffin fan. So mm, you just tell me. Communist. I don't like cooked fruit. Mm -hmm. It's better. Yeah. I'll try the banana one. I don't mind that. Banana nut. Because it's dude. like mushed up in there. It's not like pieces of banana. You just said you don't like cooked fruit. Well, uh, there's nuts in it. I wasn't expecting that. You weren't expecting nuts in the banana nut muffin. I guess not. <laughs> Jeez, God. <laughs> it was a texture I was not expecting. I don't like it. It's gross. It tastes, it tastes like banana bread, kind of. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted it, because I thought it was going to be good. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a mediocre banana bread. Starving on an island, I'd eat it, but I'm not going out of my way. Yeah, what's this one? Straight up blueberry? It is straight, straight up. Can you tell me how it is? That one's good? Is that mm -hmm. the best one? Mm -hmm. Best one so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I need to tell you something. <laughs> All right, so imagine those little yummy, little Debbie blueberry muffins. Okay. Yummy. Like the little, that, little bites? Mm -hmm. That, but with the crunch, the crunchy stuff on top from like Starbucks, from their blueberry muffins. Mm. Yummy time. So it's like little Debbie and Starbucks. 
<laughs> bung and had a baby and that's that muffin. Okay, well good, I'm glad you like it. This is the one I'm most excited to try. You're not gonna try the blueberry one? No, I don't like Yikes. it. Yikes. I don't like blueberry muffins. This is the cinnamon coffee cake. Mm. Yummy, yummy time. Mm -hmm. Like the best one, better than the blueberry one. I got a little man. <laughs> that's up. Hey, what you No, what you That one's my favorite. Tastes like a snickerdoodle muffin. Mm -hmm. Hey, butthole. That's what he wants. <laughs> 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 little man butthole. DDL. All right, so that's yeah. the muffins. Um, that one was good, but I think the blueberry one is sending it for me. No, oh, see the cinnamon coffee cake is doing it for me. That one's my favorite, but I don't like blueberries. So if you guys are ever in Pensacola, check out the local farmer's market. What was it called again? It's literally called the farmer's market. The farmer's market. Okay, and, and it's off of Mobile Highway in Pensacola and it's really, really yummy. Support local businesses. Good old man. Bap, bap, bap. And thank you guys for watching the vlog. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, leave some comments in the comment section and we will see you guys next time. I'm gonna go throw up because that was so sweet. <laughs>